My name is Cairo Parker. I'm from Nelson, BC originally. I have a Bachelor of Science degree in uh, Life Sciences and Chemistry. As far as academics, just the, the, the huge amount of information. I don't know that it's any harder here necessarily, the information. There's just vast amounts more information that you have to take in and I found that a little overwhelming sometimes for sure. There's basically a club for any species you might be interested with here at the university and uh, I personally came in and was immediately a member of the equine club as well as the Weems club which is the wild and exotic animal medicine society here. Um, there's also bovine and emergency and critical care and pain management and radiology. There's, there's clubs for pretty much any interest if you want it, they're here and it's run by students so each club kind of elects an executive and it's, it's all run by students usually with a faculty advisor associated with each, with each club and do fundraising for different events and put on labs and bring speakers in from all over the country. The third year equine club each year gets to go on a trip to Kentucky to the uh, Opportunities in Equine Practice Seminar and uh, so I kind of was in charge of organizing that trip for a group of about 21 people which was quite an undertaking but um, it was it was an amazing trip. We went to Kentucky and we went to some of the most amazing racehorse um, farms and racetracks and breeding facilities and it was it was certainly very eye-opening. Each year one of the vet schools in the country hosts a um, symposium in January and so it's an opportunity to meet the students that are doing what you're doing in other parts of the country. Vetivision is an amazing event. It's it's huge. It's uh, it definitely took me by surprise when I did it in first year with just the amazing involvement of everybody here. Most of the school kind of shuts down. Even like the teaching hospital is on an emergency only basis, and everything kind of shuts down for um, four days, I believe. And we have different rooms in the building set up with informational displays on every topic you can imagine. Um, we've got microscopes set up with ClinPath, we've got live animals for lab sort of things and informational posters and people sitting at each booth all the time to answer questions and it's just a huge draw for the public to come in and come through the vet school and see what it is we do here and what all is involved so I think it's a really great way to kind of have that connection with with the community and, and the general population. The kids really like it. Having a teaching hospital here on, is is hugely important. I mean, we get so much of our experience from the actual cases. Being a referral center for most of all of Western Canada, we see things here that you would never see out in private practice or in most other practices. So we get exposed to a lot more things and a lot more variety of cases and surgeries. I definitely have uh, friends who are out in practice already who are constantly phoning back to various professors and clinicians that they knew here for advice and for information and the people here are wonderful about that. They're very receptive and very helpful. All the professors are really great about that. They're all really adamant about contacting them and if we have interesting cases, you know, letting them know what's going on and they also like it if we send back um, teaching material, photos and information about what happened with the case so they can use it in their lectures and stuff. So it's definitely a an ongoing relationship. I came to vet school thinking I wanted to do equine medicine because I love horses so much, but four years, things changed. <laughs> Here I am. Every time I was introduced to exotics in any way, I just came out of it so excited by the whole concept of it and loving the species that you get to see. And I'm really interested in zoo medicine. I really like the kind of bigger exotic animals. Uh, do it. <laughs> it's, it's an amazing career, it's an amazing opportunity, and it takes a lot of hard work, but it's very, very worth it. If you keep at it and really want it, you'll, you'll get here, and it's, it's definitely worth it. It's been an amazing, amazing experience. If you don't really want it, it can be hard to, hard to get through, but you have an amazing group of people to do it with. Uh, the classes tend to be really close. Um, we spend a lot of time together on a daily basis, so you, you get close pretty quick. Everyone is really great about supporting everybody and we're all in it together and we all got through.